and welcome back as I'm your host Keyblade Kyrie 2010 today we are moving on with life is strange viewer discretion is advised this gameplay is rated M for mature um, if you're under the age of 17 you probably should not be watching this this does contain quite a bit of language and some controversial topics as well if you are triggered by any of these things please 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 go check out my rated T for teen games my rated E for everyone games those ones are a little bit more for everyone um, if not and you're ready to jump in and strap in for this amazing series and story of life is strange you have been warned. All right, lovelies, let's uh, jump back into Life is Strange. So last time around, we almost had Chloe run into us, but then saved our butts. And now our camera is broken and we have to get it fixed. Doesn't look like the Price family is rolling in dough these days. Hmm. Okay. I want to go look at some other things. Now this is the Chloe I remember. Always smiling and laughing. Not so much anymore. Huh. Kate messaged me. TV. I haven't seen this place in five years. Seems like forever. Let's look. Joy still works at Two Wells Diner. Best damn burgers in Arcadia. <laughs> I better get yeah. one soon. Oh, that was the whole thing. Swear jar. <sighs> oh. I'd love to go to Paris too. Traveling. At this rate, they'll be lucky to get to Portland. Yum, that looks tasty. I do miss Joyce's cooking. Yum, 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 yum. Outdoors. Hey, I remember that stain. Chloe and I knocked over Joyce's wine bottle and we scrubbed forever, but it never came out. We got so busted. Just chillin'. <laughs> Come on, open it, chicken. Hold on, and I'm not chicken. Prove it. You drink first, Max. No way. It was your idea, Chloe. Whatever. Give me that bottle. Well? Tasty. Very tasty. Here, I, I want a sip. Sorry, this is not for kids. Don't be greedy. Give me some. Oh shit, the carpet! There's wine all over. What do we do now? My parents are coming. Cover it up. <laughs> Memories. I never did anything like that. If I took this picture, the deer would be standing on your ass. <laughs> sure, why not? Let's go poking outside for a few minutes. I know, we gotta... <sighs> I can feel autumn pushing out to summer. William used to grill awesome burgers for us. I wonder if he was the last one to use this. Ah, uh, lawn mowing. Oh, I loved this swing. William made it just for me and Chloe. Old and rusted now, I see. That took Chloe and me the whole day to draw. It's almost invisible now. Fading away. We made this grave for Chloe's kitty. Poor Bongo. He never saw that car coming. Aww. He got run over. Anything else out here? No? Okay. Let's go back inside and all that. Chloe had a cat. Interesting. Anything over here? I guess they're aging, these books. <laughs> I should be able to find the tools I need here. 
These are way too big. I need tiny tools for that camera. Tiny tools. This must belong to Chloe's stepdad. Open. Food. I wonder what's in those files up there. Let's look. Shit! Butterfingers! Nice job. TV? What the? Chloe's stepdad actually installed cameras in the rooms? For reals? This guy has serious trust issues. Do Chloe and Joyce even know about this? Yeah, I would be, uh, concerned. Unfortunately, you don't see a camera in her room. Wowzer, a map of Blackwell Academy. I wonder why. Probably where he would install all the cameras. Close that up. Um, let's take a look, what's this? Yes, score. <laughs> That's a bit concerning. Hmm. One of these guns is missing. I hope Chloe's stepdad isn't packing heat. Um, dee 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 dee. Is there a ladder? Oop. Nothing. This is so lame. What about here? Open. Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. He wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school? How paranoid can you get? Mm, I don't know. Chloe's stepfather is this asshole from Blackwell? You've got to be shitting me. We already established that, but I guess he is military. Interesting. Yep. Poor little dear. It's not enough to kill you, they have to display your head. Look at all that food. That's like enough spam for a hundred years. Mm, old car. Check out the muscle car. Chloe's stepdad must be a gearhead. All right, let's see if I can find a ladder or something. Is there a chair maybe? Not seeing anything. Boom, precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. All right, well, I want to I want to look at these. That's what I want. But I already Damn. make a mess. So. I'll always make them fall. Well, actually, let's let's take a look at them. Stop, stop. Can we take a look at them? I don't even know. That's not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. I want these. Oh, man. I'll always make them fall. All right, so let's look. Kate Marsh? Why the hell would he have pictures of her? Okay, this is getting totally weird. She knows something? He's stalking her. All right. Now that I'm, like, is that all that I have to look at or is that it? Yeah, I think that's it. All the way back up on the shelf you go. Okay. Now that I'm done poking around, let's turn on the washer. Or dryer. Shake, shake, shake. That was very smart, dumbass. No can reach. 
No can reach him. Um, let's see. The tools are stuck, out of reach, and no way in hell to get them. Brilliant, Max. Brilliant. Okay, so let's put them back. They belong. I don't know, maybe put your hand out? Okay. Um... That does not look stable. Ah! Yes, here's some ancient cardboard. Let's push that underneath. And turn on this time. We'll just skip that because it fell behind here. Um, we'll turn it off because obviously we don't need that. All right, and pull out. Yes, Smart. you have mad skills, Max. All right, now I've got the tools. I should go back upstairs before Chloe freaks. No password. Like it would help me find tools anyway. It, there's gotta be a password around here. I don't remember. Okay, so if you look in there, nothing. If you look in there. Um, I can't remember what his password is. No password. Like it would help me find tools anyway. Yeah, I don't know. I can't get, uh... Chloe's stepfather is this asshole from... Let's see, is there anything... Chloe's stepdad is head of... Sec I highly doubt it, but I'm, I'm nosy, okay? I want to poke. What other crap is he hiding, possibly? All right, well. Oh. I love that they have the same old answering machine. And there's a message. Chloe, if you're listening, Pete was cruising home off duty and told me he saw you near that garbage dump. Now I've ordered, told you to stay away from that place. It's dangerous. And you got no idea what kind of scum are living out there. Stay away. I'm serious. Hmm. No comment on that? I love that they have the same old okay. answering machine. No comment on that. All right. And there's a message. There's mail. Anything in here? No, probably not. It's probably a closet. All right, let's go back upstairs. I don't think there's anything else I could look at. I mean, I know you can open up the computer, but I don't remember how, unfortunately. All right, here we go. So? I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah, I just took them today. Let me see. Wait, I've seen this before. Uh... No way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today. You set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. Now tell me the truth, Max. I was there, hiding in the corner. Damn, you are a ninja. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. I just took a butterfly photo. That is so badass. Oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? Not at all. Your hair and clothes are so different. I hope so. 
I'm sure this is all so weird to you after coming back. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. So you must have overheard our conversation. Just a bit. There is no way you didn't hear every single vowel. Okay, I only heard something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question. Did you tell anybody? Absolutely. Nathan Prescott had a fucking gun on you. Gutless prick. That was scary. Who did you tell? The principal. But he didn't seem to believe me. The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk jackass only cares about cash for Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. I didn't mention you at all. Swear. Thank God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. That's so cool you remembered my birthday, but I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. <laughs> Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chloe, I love you. I'll take your photo, darling. Smile. Too bad that there's no music actually playing, and this is kind of awkward. <laughs> this but... song fucking rules. Can't yeah. dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. <laughs> yes, break it down, Max. Chloe, are you up there? Yo, turn it off. Turn it off. How many times have I told you to stop blasting that punk shit? Dude, the music's not even on. Asshole. I'm coming up. We need to talk. Oh, no fucking way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. Okay, okay, okay. Boy, what's going on? Open this door, please. Chill, I'm changing. Is that okay? Max, find a place to hide now. <sighs> Chloe. I'm coming. What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Oh. Don't get smart. Just... Oh, crud. What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just let me in. Now. Please. One second. My bra is stuck. I'm not screwing around. Shit. What's going on in here? Jesus, I'm just trying on clothes. You're so friggin' paranoid. Yeah, combat will do that to you. One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh, God, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait, is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh, yeah, guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. Whose is it? In real life, I wouldn't actually do this because in my city, it's against the law. Mm, but I am totally all supportive of, uh, of weed heads and whatnot. <laughs> I mean, I use CBD oil for my anxiety and mental stuff as well. If I didn't, I would uh, probably be uh, on a different medication that the doctors actually want me on and my own mother. But besides the point, um, I wouldn't take the fall in real life because you can get arrested for that in this like i'm a goody two-shoes let's just leave it at that i'm a goody two-shoes and i wouldn't take the fall if it meant getting arrested so sorry chloe if this was real life i wouldn't stick up for you but you're pretty cool so and i like you and i like your style and it's so rockingly a little bit like me so but yeah i'll just do it 
I'm sorry. That was my joint. Well, well. I don't like strangers in my home. Especially dopers. So you're bringing drugs into my home. How about if I call the police? That'd screw up your spotless Blackwell record. You do seem to get around, Max. I'm sick of you losers dragging Chloe down. Missy, you sure do like to pop up and start trouble. Like this afternoon. You don't have anything smart to say now, do get you? Get the hell away from huh? her, man. Stop harassing my friends. You don't have any friends. Like you know. You're not even a real cop. You're a fucking security guard. I was a soldier, Chloe. And Max, if I see you here again, you'll learn all about real trouble. Because you're such a badass, Max, let me show you my new toy. You did take one of I'm his... I'm Price. Chloe Price. Bang! Jesus, put that thing down. Chillax, sister. It's not even loaded. Yet. I thought you believed in gun control. Yes, I believe I should control the gun. It's the men who need to be checked. You trust Nathan or David? <laughs> Thanks for taking the heat. We totally smacked his punk ass down, Max. He's no match for you and me now. That was an epic win. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can hang in this hickle. Man, that did not go well for me. If I want to keep my Blackwell scholarship, I shouldn't lie for anybody, even Chloe. I have to think about my own future. This is true, this is true, but... Yeah, yeah, it's because of the goody two-shoes in me is screaming. Yeah, the goody two-shoes in me is, is screaming out in me, so... Whoa. Chloe. I'm coming. What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. Oh, I went I'm too far. Ah, crap. Now. Uh, okay. What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. That was weird. I'm changing. Give okay. me a minute. Don't get smart. Just let me in. What's going on in here? Jesus, I'm. What is it? Stay hidden. My goody two shoes in me is. Mmm. Sucks being true to oneself and being a goody two shoes. Stop treating me and my mom like we're your family platoon! Hey! Leave Joyce out of this! I wish you'd leave Joyce! Like now! Oh! Chloe, I'm sorry. I care about your mother and you. Just keep pushing me. Don't touch me again, asshole. That's the last time. Or I'll bring the cops in here so fast. You're not that dumb. I'd be smart to have you busted. Chloe, someday you'll grow up. Sorry, Chloe. I love you. You're hey, awesome. You okay? Welcome to the real step douches of Arcadia Bay. I'm sorry. For what? He would have been a bigger dick if he caught you in here. That's hard to believe. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can go to in this hick hole. David was such a mean bastard to Chloe. What if I had stepped up to help? You already know that. What would have happened? Let's... Hard to believe Chloe was my BFF. We'll go out through the window. Seeing Step Dick is not on the agenda. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, my. Mm. It depends on what it is. Like if it's gonna get me in trouble with the law, I no, I wouldn't step in. If it wasn't gonna get me in trouble with the law, I would definitely step in. Ugh. My morals. Like, I believe in helping friends out when they need it, but I don't know. It just depends on the situation. Especially if people ask for money and I don't have it, then I can't, you know? Stuff like that. 
It's just, it's difficult, depending on the situation. I haven't been here in forever. So why do I feel like I was just here? Whoa. This is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. All right. Well, I know in the tutorial we were told, I was told, that there is a picture I need to take. Right here. Oh, this will be a great nature shot. Stay still, Birdie. Right. I got you. All right, so... Ah, oh, this is the, the file that I didn't... What? No way. I got that photo. I made sure I got that photo. I went through the whole entire... One of the... What? For real? For real? You're, you're not gonna get- what? No, I went through the whole entire episode just to get that. Not entire episode, but I went to one of the checkpoints and I redid this section. Are you kidding me? Ugh. You're not gonna give me the statue one? I'm gonna have to go back and do it again. And I have to remember all my decisions. Dang it! All right. I, I know I went back and got it. I did. They haven't updated this sign since the 1980s. Well, I guess I'll see if I get all the photo or the trophy for all the photos at the end of the episode. Look. That old fence is part of the landscape now. The path behind it leads to the parking lot. People can be such pigs. And that's why I love her. She outweighs Chloe so much. Like, she's the other half type deal. I ship it. Hello, cute little squirrel. You and me, stare contest. <laughs> I know there's one more photo I have to I get. I feel like I'm in my nightmare again. Anything else to look at? No. No. Oh, dang, he really did get a black eye. Oh, poor dude. Man, I'm sorry. Thanks for standing up to him, though. I appreciate it. Birds are so lucky. They can always escape. Birds are lucky. Looks like the youth of Arcadia Bay still come up here to party. I never made it. How long has that been here? There's no one. Clearly, the Bigfoots are everywhere. Those sure aren't big feet. What kind of animal left those prints? Weird. Those glyphs remind me of the wind. Ooh. Anything else to poke at over here? Too bad it's locked. I remember racing up and down the steps. Uh, anything here? Wowzer. Chloe drew that to mark our tree for it, so we'd always be able to find each other in case of emergency. <sighs> yep, because this is the last photo for this episode. Yeah, cause I swore I got that. I'm annoyed. I'm really annoyed. I'm gonna have to go back and get it. Oh yeah, we have some new information. So we have uh, more information on the lovely Rachel. Uh, let's see here. 
Warren. And it looks like we're missing two others in our wonderful layout here, but yeah, Chloe Price. God, I cannot wait to get your shirt in the mail. I still need to actually find um, a pleather leather jacket for her, but I have everything else that I have, and I'm waiting on her necklace too, but yeah. The sad thing is, the only thing I could find for Chloe, though, was the fact that um, I could only find it in t-shirt form. You know, her tank top that she wears? I could only find it in t-shirt form, unfortunately. So, yeah, I'm going to be wearing the t-shirt version of her tank top. But I do have uh, a, probably a pair of jeans that I could tear up again. Um, I do have suspenders, black ones, of course, that I used for a different cosplay, but never actually saw the light of, light of day. <clears throat> Tifa, Final Fantasy VII. <clears throat> and uh, I still have Aqua's wig, and I have a black beanie as well, um, but I ordered her necklace, and I ordered um, the t-shirt version of her shirt, and I just need to figure out a jacket Right now, I don't have any money, so yeah. Okay. All right, let's let's chit chat, darling. Sure, you don't want to be alone. Sit down if you want. I'm sorry I wussed out. No worries. I know my step dork can be scary. I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. Oh, I also got to figure out a tattoo for, uh, sleeve for her as well, because I am no way in hell brave enough to actually do a tattoo like that, even though her tattoo is really cool. Uh, freaks out, freaked out on me, and I should take his photo. He freaked out on poor Kate Marsh today. I know her. She's cool. Only that prick would bully her. He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? Well, yeah. I couldn't help it. Never change. What did you find? Creepy photos of Kate Marsh, other Blackwell students. This dude takes his job too seriously. He still thinks he's at war or something. He's a total surveillance fetish. Where are there spy cams in the house? I knew you didn't know. Chloe, your house is under surveillance. What are you talking about? There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I knew it. He's so hella fucking paranoid. I'll keep this a secret for now. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. What's Nathan's secret? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. Ooh. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. So, what about you and Nathan? We went to his room at Blackwell. We drank, and I laughed at his rich kid bullshit. He was one step ahead and put something in my beer. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum rush the door and get the hell out. <sighs> Max, it was insane. Chloe, that is so fucked up. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. 
so we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. He's still dangerous, Chloe. Not just to you. Oh, good thing you notified the principal. I feel safer already. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny? If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass. Straight for the town. Chloe, you're here. I'm back. Oh my lord, this is real. It's real. Oh man, this sucks. Max, what's going on? You totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Oregon gets about five tornadoes every 20 years. You just zoned. No, no, I saw it. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else I have to tell you. Something... hardcore. Talk to me, Max. I had this same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. But hi, right? Listen to me, how do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. People don't have those powers, Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell insane fucking day. What the hell is this? Snowflakes? It's like 80 degrees. How? Climate change. Or a storm is coming. Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything. All right. 
right. We're going to get into more character stuff and whatnot in the next one. But this is the first episode of Life is Strange. How cool is that, guys? We're, this is going to be um, kind of the same of uh, five parts, obviously. And, uh, well, five episodes, I should say. Uh, obviously not for me, but it's going to be five episodes for the game. And then we'll get into um, Life is Strange Before the Storm. And we'll also get into Life is Strange 2. And then we'll see where things go from there. Um, I did, however, get the trophy. I just looked at my phone. I did get the trophy for all the photos in this episode. Um, which is weird. Entirely weird because uh, as you saw earlier that um, I'm missing one of the photos yeah I did I get got the final trophy I'm still gonna try and go back and see if I can actually get it because I like that's the only um, trophy I have left that I have to get is all the photos so I don't think I'll have to go back but we'll see what happens but yes, this was um, episode one of Life is Strange. So this is a very interesting um, game. I think you guys will definitely enjoy this. Uh, which character do you see yourself as? You know, it could be, it doesn't have to be Max or Chloe. It could be any of the others out of curiosity. You know, I see myself leaning towards a little bit of Chloe and a little bit of Max depending on how things go and whatnot, but yeah, so we're going to skip that. Uh, so these are the decisions that people made and all that versus my decisions. Oh, 82% stuck up for Kate, 66% comforted Victoria, 65% uh, told the principal stayed hidden you blamed Chloe you told the bl or took the blame for Chloe I bet you that one is if I didn't hide in time I'm pretty sure that that's what uh, what that one is um, but yeah I, I'll definitely have to go back through and do that again so uh, Oh, okay. Oh yeah, one of the decisions I remade was I actually checked the, the pregnant pregnancy test. I forgot after going back and watching one of my videos, I was like, oh, I didn't do that. I thought I did, but apparently I didn't. So yeah, some of these uh, decisions are a little bit different. Um, but yeah. Friends status. Let's see what my friend status is. Oh, okay. So I just clicked on my friend status. These are people that I know who actually played the game. And oh wow, that is different standings for sure with my friends uh, versus me. Oh yeah, wow. That is definitely different standards. Uh, so when you press X, you get to see the world. Uh, how the world did and then if you press X again you get to see how your friends who have also played the game did as well so yeah that's cool alright so <laughs> dang nabbit Chloe <laughs> you and getting into trouble I swear so, alright guys, that's pretty much it for the first episode. Yes, I know that we're doing a daily thing and recording and whatnot, but uh, yeah, I hope you're going to enjoy this series as much as I did when I first played the first game. Um, keep in mind, I have not finished the second game. I think I played up to the intro, and then um, I, I don't know why I stopped. 
I think it was because of the different mechanics than that are in this one. And you can't really reverse time. You can't go back and make different decisions. Um, and I had, I, like I said, I just recently, as about a day ago, just bought Life is Strange 2. So, um, which is weird. I, I love the Life is Strange series so far. And I ha heard nothing on the second game. Not a peep of the second game whatsoever. So... Alright guys, I am your host, Keyblade Kyrie 2010 Thank you guys so much for watching. You got to learn a little bit more about me today. <laughs> if I could, and if it was legal, I'd be a little bit of a pothead. <laughs> That's what makes me and Chloe so close. Um, but it's not legal, and no. <laughs> and so, alright guys. I am your host, Keyblade Carry 2010. I'm gonna lose quite a few subscribers because of this, I'm sure. But yeah, whatever. Thank you so much. If you're new to the channel and you like what you see, please smash that subscribe button, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and definitely hit that notification bell so that way you get notified of when I upload to the channel and whatnot. Let me hear your thoughts on the fact that I just admitted that if I could, I would. <laughs> smoke but I don't because it's illegal <laughs> but yes we'll see you in the next video guys I'm just prolonging this by at this point bye